<laughs> Good morning, you little freaks. Short video today. We did a uh, rocker arm replacement yesterday. Uh, wanted to show you some of the interesting things to see about the Pentastar Tick, and I also wanted to nauseate you as I filmed this introduction. Oh, somebody's here. The bell is ringing. Oh, God. Oh, geez. All right, just a short video today about camshafts and the Pentastar Tick. We did this job yesterday for an expediter. Uh, don't actually know the history on this motor, but somewhere in the 200,000 mile range. This is your camshaft and you know, all's well, except where's my ticking cylinder? I wonder if it's that. Let's see if we can get some light on that. And you can see what happens. And I feel like this light's gonna make it worse. You can see exactly what happens and I will show you how this works. Okay, pulling one of these random rockers, this is actually upside down, the rocker faces down, but you can see that the rocker is riding in there on the camshaft, normally it would ride like that, and it is oiled, it rides on a, a film of oil to prevent it from either surface from galling each other, but what happens is when this wheel no longer rotates, when the needle bearings go out, it'll seize and slide and scrape and wear. Uh, this van was ticking quite noticeably and, and you would say, oh, well, that, that thing has the Pentastar tick. It was fairly obvious. We did another one last week that was much ticking much less and we got it before it damaged the cam at all. The only reason you care is because cams are 300, uh, at least right now, they're 300 a piece. Um, and that's no fun. And I also worry that uh, I'll have availability problems at some point as this, as this particular cam gets farther and farther away from production. The important takeaway is that if you address this problem before it becomes a problem, you won't be buying any cams and you won't be buying any catalytic converters because as this cylinder misfires, it's putting unburned fuel into the cat and taking out your cat. Again, not super expensive, another 300 bucks or whatever, but this stuff adds up and it's just more labor and whatnot. But the important thing to remember is that if you address this problem soon enough, you'll basically get 550 to 600,000 miles out of this engine without too much trouble. It is incredibly durable, but this is its fatal flaw as such. This problem will show up usually around 110,000 miles. Some have it sooner, most don't. Most have it around 110, and some never get it. Okay, what I've done here is cut apart the oil filter that came with this engine, or from this engine. Some metal, not as bad as others I've seen. This engine, I happen to know, was ticking for quite some time. That is some metal. Ah, uh, well, there you go. There was a quick, relatively quick video on uh, what it looks like when the camshaft wears and what happens. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. It's a somewhat expensive job, but it's less expensive than a new engine. And it's something that once you do it once, you'll be good up to 500 some thousand miles. It basically fixes the problem. The newest parts, which are called AH parts, because they end in the part suffix AH for those part numbers. That's very exciting. And now to pad out the YouTube algorithm, a musical interlude. Come see us, ProMasters only. We love you, or at least we want to love you. I just need the space in which to love you. Enjoy. Carry on, good people. Until next time. Thank you. Good to see all you good-looking people out there.
Rock and round, uh, Kim. The finest of Jewish blues. <laughs> <laughs>